Today we have a longer workout. This workout's gonna be really focused on developing grip strength and core and legs. This can be a longer workout, probably be in the 20 to 30 minute range for most people. So take your time and pace it out. The workout starts with 100 air squats. For the air squat, we stand our feet just a little bit wider than the shoulders, turn the toes out a little bit. Our range of motion, as we squat down, we want to see the hip go below the top of the knee. But we also want to focus on efficient and safe positions. The heels stay on the floor, the knees stay out on top of the feet, and the chest stays up. 100 air squats. Then you're going to pick up any two weighted objects, kettlebells, dumbbells, backpacks, suitcases. You can do a 100 meter farmer's carry. We're focused on keeping the chest up. We don't want to see the shoulders drooping forward, and we definitely don't want to round the back. Focus on staying tall. This should be a walk. We want to build grip strength. Don't run even if the weights are light enough that you can. 100 meters will probably take you about a minute, so it's going to be pretty long. After that farmer's carry, you're going to do 50 sit-ups. Shoulders lay down on the floor, sit up, all the way until your shoulders are above the hips. A couple ways to make sure that's happening. You can touch the toes or the floor right in front of the toes at the top of the reps. You can have knees out in the butterfly position. You can have knees together, ab mat, no ab mat, whatever you have available is fine. So after your 50 sit-ups, you'll do another 100 meter farmer's carry. Another set of squats, 100 meter farmer's carry. Sit-ups, 100 meter farmer's carry. Check the workout description for all the reps, but you can do the math. You're gonna be farmer's carrying for a thousand meters today. So it's gonna be a pretty challenging workout. Today's warm up is gonna be three sets, one minute per movement. First minute, active Spider-Mans. Bring your hands down to the floor in push-up position. You're going to step your foot outside your hand and then sink your chest to the floor and then come back up, switch to the other leg. Alternate sides for one minute. After that, we are going to do a wall sit. You're going to find a position where your knees and hips are at a 90 degree angle and your hips are right around parallel with the ground. Hold for one minute. Final movement is a side plank. You'll have your forearm on the floor feet are stacked on top of each other, push the hips straight, and focus on not letting the hips droop towards the floor and not letting them push back. 30 seconds on each side. 